Hey everybody, welcome to another HIT workout. This version is 10 minutes, so we are going to do, say hi to Trajan, say hi to Cerise. Okay, we're gonna do five moves, one minute each, and then we're going to repeat them. So you can rest and get water as needed, but push yourself to go the full 10 minutes as best as you can. So first up, we have high knees. Again, the goal here is to get the knee even with your waist. You want to keep that core tight and keep that back straight. If this is too much, you can step and lift. You know, you can challenge yourself to go a little faster if this is your level. You can also go sort of at a medium here. Whoops, just stuck on my dog. And just do a slower jump. Okay. This is good if, you know, you're not warmed up, maybe start a little bit slower. And then as your body gets warmed up, you can challenge yourself to go faster. We have about 10 more seconds here. And then we're going to move into side leg kicks. So in this one, form is more important than speed. So let me show you first. We're gonna do 30 seconds to this side, and then we'll switch. Okay, but it's important you get your balance. So if you do a little rock, and then look, get a focal point, and then kick. You might be able to go higher than me, or you might say, Jenny, you're crazy if you think I'm gonna kick that high. In which case, just kick here. Okay, let's switch sides. He is not going anywhere, is he? <laughs> the important thing is to keep your leg sort of like your hip is facing the ceiling. Okay, we really want to work that outer hip glute area. That's what we're focusing now, on now. Okay, we got about five more seconds here. This is an extra balance exercise when you're trying to keep away from your dog. All right, next up is side to side jump. So this is the basic move. You're keeping your body forward, landing on one leg, and then putting that toe behind your knee, if you can see through two big legs. Here we go. So basic move here, arm coming to the shoulder, jumping, again, keeping that core tight. You're working those abs without doing a crunch right now. Keep that core tight. If this is too much, again, you can just step it, step and kick. You also don't need to do your arms. If your arms are a little tired, they're gonna get some work pretty soon. So you can give them a break. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can do more of a skater jump. Again, keeping that body forward. I don't wanna hurt my dog. He's old, he needs care. <laughs> In three, two, one. We're moving to arm circles, okay? So here's your basic move. You're gonna do 30 seconds one way, and then we'll switch and you'll do 30 seconds the other way, okay? Again, you rest when you need to. If you need to take a break, if you need to get water, you feel free to do that. If you say, this is not a challenge enough, I wanna bring my heart rate up some more, more power to you, we're gonna switch. You can make this more into a cross jack. So still working the shoulders, but when you bring that jump into it, when you get the legs involved, that's gonna bring your heart rate up. Okay, so again, you go at the level you wanna go at. Doing this will concentrate the effort that work more on your shoulders. Shoulders, you'll feel that burn. All right, we're moving on to plank. In three, two, one. So, oh boy. <laughs> we're gonna start in high plank. So we're trying to keep our body like a board, hence the term plank. Okay, so we're gonna start up here in high plank. Arms are straight, maybe a slight bend in those elbows so you're not blocking anything. In two seconds, we're going down to elbows. Okay, again, still trying to keep that body nice and straight. This is your ab work, your really focused ab work of the exercise. The good news is you only have to do it twice. <laughs> and in three, 
three seconds, we're moving on to oblique crunches. So from here, you want to try to imagine your knees are going to your shoulders. Okay, your focus can be nice and down just in front of your, in front of your hands here. And we are done in three, two, one. So we are going back to the top. So high knees. Again, if you need to take a break, you can take a break. I'm laughing because Trey did just lay down, but he also moved my clock in the process. So now I'm going to guesstimate about how long we've been going <laughs> and go from there. How's working from home going for you? This is how it's going for me. <laughs> but I am getting paid to work out right now and hopefully motivate you, and that makes me happy. Again, trying to get those knees, even with the waist. If it's too much, we step and we lift. Step and lift. The in-between is a slower jump. I'm going to say we have about 10 seconds left, and hopefully I'm kind of right. I'd hate to cheat you out of a workout. And I know some of you would be mad at me for making you go too hard. <laughs> All right, in five seconds, we are moving to those side leg kicks. So, again, form over speed. You don't want to be falling all over the place, but you want to keep that hip facing up. If you need to just be here, that's fine. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's just a lift. That's okay, too. In three seconds, we're changing legs. So get your balance, get your focal point, and kick to your level, right? We want to challenge ourselves. We want to stretch a little bit, but not strain. Don't hurt yourself. Ooh, see how I just fell? Trying to do too many things at once. Talking and working out is difficult. All right, you got about five seconds, and then we're going back to the side to side jump. So getting that heart rate back up. So basic, again, important you're facing forward, keeping that core tight. Work those shoulders by keeping that arm up. If you need to just step and touch, step and kick, that's fine. If you need to challenge yourself, you're doing a skater jump. We're about halfway through with these. And then you get to go to arm circle. So you can push yourself and really get your cardio up here, knowing that next you can take a break. It's just conditioning of those arms. So what's nice about doing each minute for a, each move for a minute, you can go at different levels. Switch it up. There's no harm in going back and forth. All right, in three, two, one. Arm circles. So again, starting one way, and then we'll switch after 30 seconds. If I wasn't doing this right now for you, I'd probably go get a drink. <laughs> I would encourage you to do the same. Don't push yourself too hard. Again, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Just about getting that heart rate up and conditioning from head to toe. All right, let's switch. And again, if you're like, my heart rate feels pretty good right now. I've recovered. You want to push yourself, especially because it's the last time through. You can make this more of a cross jump. Okay, anytime you have the jumps, you're going to get that heart rate up. You can also kind of do a modified. Right. Different options. You do what feels good. All right, we are moving to the plank. So, again, starting in high plank, we're going to be here for 20 seconds, and then we'll switch down to those elbows. So, this is great because I can see myself <laughs> and make sure my body's that board, nice and straight. Okay, we don't want to be here. We don't want to be here. Like right here. Let's move down to our elbows. If at any point you need to take a slight break from this, right, you can come back in child's pose. Okay, that's fine. Just come back in when you can. 
You got about three more seconds. And then we're moving to those oblique crunches. So again, keeping the body straight, looking slightly past your hands, and imagining your knees are coming to your shoulders. You got five seconds left, and then you are done with this workout. You did it. Okay, go ahead. I would highly recommend you do a slight stretch on your own. Stretching your body from head to toe, it's really important that you properly cool down, get some water, take care of yourself. We'll see you next time. Have a good day.